Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkowiak, and today we are going to be talking about a very cool quiver. Um, many of you guys know that in my longbows, I basically shoot the uh, the Great Northern Quivers. I have for 25, 26, 27 years, somewhere like that. I love them; they're an incredible quiver. But this one really interests me because of the heritage and what happened behind it, why it's even here. Uh, so I want to review this. And uh, what we have here is this is the Grayling Quiver. Okay. This is a collaboration between Chris Perino and Southway Archery that creates this. And Chris worked really hard on this. He even got the licensing agreements and things like that with Bear Archery um, and uh, you know to make sure everything was exact. And this is an incredible quiver with multiple options. So we want to cover that. This is on a Bear Grizzly. This is not my bow yet, I should say. Um, Chris sent me this bow so that I could actually put these on a bear bow and show them for you. And the second I pulled this out of the box to uh, do this for the review, Tina saw this and fell in love with it, and I'm actually trying to buy it. Um, so I talked to Chris. He's going to see, uh, you know, how much it's going to be. And uh, like I said, I just sent him a text five minutes ago. But uh, hopefully this will be Tina's bow, um, a new bow for her, 45 pounds. She just loves the simple black, the simplicity of it. And it's right in her uh, weight range, and she uh, likes it, 58 inch. So this may very well be Tina's bow here very quickly rather than me having to send it back to him and this is the quiver that she's going to run on it if that is the case um, and uh, but this Osabo quiver or this grayling quiver basically what we're looking at here and what's happening is Chris wanted to replicate the original bear quiver and the beauty of it I'm showing you some images right now you're seeing the original quiver uh, you're seeing Fred bear using it this one he used on all of his exploits this quiver is is a uh, it's an iconic classic quiver that the quality was fantastic and it's been gone for so long Chris wanted to bring it back but not bring it back without bringing it back on a pro grade level not just a uh, knockoff version not just something to maybe make money not just a cheap you know whatever no 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 um and they are incredible so let's show you a little bit about them and we're gonna keep talking about them but basically it's a collaboration between chris perino who makes the hoods and the foams and all that stuff and of course Selway Archery who if you don't know Selway they have been making quivers longer than I've been a traditional bow hunter and I have been for 30 years and I'm telling you what Selway has always been there they're a Michigan based company they are incredible their products have always been incredible uh, they are such a huge asset to the traditional world in all of our community and uh, they're just great people with an incredible product multiple incredible products uh, like I said even though I shoot a great northern quiver I can't recommend enough I say enough good things about anything Selway puts out and uh, this combination and collaboration between the two those two between Selway and Chris Perino just incredible combination here and uh, we're going to cover that and we're going to dive in and show it in deep deep detail here but here's your options now these colors Again, to get the exact matching colors, Chris contacted Bear for color codes and things like that to make sure they match the original versions on these things. So we have the original Grayling Green. You have the original Fred Bear Camo. Okay, this one just like that. I'll get into the makes and models and stuff. You have the black with the original Bear logo. Okay, kind of thing. And you have the brown right here, the original Bear logo as well too. Um, now. The interesting part of these two is, again, Chris tried a bunch of different things to make this out of. This is actually Bolstron. Okay, if you're not familiar with this, this is stuff that's uh, it's like a super high grade of Kydex, better than Kydex. This is eighth inch thick, 0.125 Boltron, or Boltron, however you say it, um, uh, heavy duty Kydex, but it's it basically, it's unbreakable, impermeable, it's just, it's, it's such a quality quiver, yet lightweight, but this stuff is incredible um, that's on here. Amazing foam in here that's that good, it's almost like yoga block type foam, the stuff we want, it's really going to hold arrows in there well and do the job we want to and notice that it's a very light in color it's not super dark or black which again many of you guys know I like to be able to see to put my arrows back in this is light enough that you can do that so I love that feature on here but the quality of these is incredible the colors of these are not made in any material okay he had to get color codes to make these colors really sorry that's what you get for living in a, in a trail town here 
two months left that I get to go to Georgia and not deal with this stuff. Uh, but it is a holiday weekend, Labor Day weekend, and we got side-by-sides and everything running around. The trailhead is right there. Um, but these colors had to be specific for them to be able to make them and these camo patterns and stuff they are bear types exact things well chris contacted them and then had to actually contact uh bolstron and these companies that build the uh, uh this material and actually have them do it and produce it in the sheets and all that there was a lot involved with that even the ink and stuff that's on here this is not just a, a simple ink like you would see that's going to flake or chip or come off or wear out later on this is automotive grade ink after testing tons and tons of different kinds of inks and wearability of them, he chose this automotive grade ink is what they actually use to uh, ink stuff on like your uh, your center caps for your wheels and things like that on cars. It's uh, you know it's a high high quality ink that's not it's going to last for as long as can be. So um, every little detail of this quiver, top shelf on every kind of level, absolute top shelf. Now, then we bring in the Selway aspect. What does Selway bring to the table? many decades of quiver knowledge and skill set in there and a lot of variable mounting options. So let's look at that. So first off, and I will put these all on a bow for you so you can see them. But first off, we have the mount one because this bow, like many bear bows and like many bows, has a brass insert right in here and you can mount that too. So this is their quick takedown one, okay? Unscrew these and it pops right off. But look at how nice that is and the quality of that quiver on that bow and how tight that is to the bow and that's how that lays those feathers out perfect. This is the five arrow version. Good room through there. Now, I don't even have mine mounted in there yet, okay? I just got them sitting in there, but you can see, look at that feather clearance all the way through there, and I use high back feathers. Okay, these are, are tall, high back, they're four, four inch high back feathers, but look at that clearance, absolutely perfect. Selway is known for their quick access arrow right here, okay? And a lot of people grab that as their first arrow, and I don't think that was the intention for it. I think the design was for you to take a different arrow, but this one, notice all these arrows pull out the front. This one pulls out to you. It is designed to be a quick grab arrow um, if you need that second shot with that design of that. And they've always done that, and they've done a fantastic job at it. Uh, there's nobody in the industry that makes a better gripper than Selway does. They hold the arrows like you would not believe. There is no other gripper out there that is good as a Selway gripper with how they lock that arrow in. Sorry, I'm knocking stuff around here. Like I said, they're not mounted. But they hold these grippers are incredible. So just a wicked, solid, perfect combination here for this type of a setup, that collaboration. But that is the mount one that is going to mount right into your uh, brass stud or brass tap holes that are in this bow, which I will show you. But that is how that's gonna mount on there and how that looks, just a beautiful setup. I will go through and show you these other mounts real fast and we'll actually put them on the bow for you too. But you have your classic original slide-on model that they've had for many many years okay this is your slide on you just take your string off and it slides down the limbs again I will show you and you can get this in it that's the same guy he's just going around the block he's got a $25,000 razor and he just keeps going around the block go figure but uh, this you can get this in a three four uh, five or six arrow model Fitting six in this size quiver might be tight, but uh, the five arrow, this is the five arrow on this one, and you can see there would be no problem. Great fletching clearance, great hood and head clearance in there too. So this five inch or five arrow model would be absolutely perfect on this bow. Um, but you have your classic, and now he comes around this way. You have your classic slide on, slip right over the limb, slip on model. You have the quick detach version that they have right here which is just basically what, the, what happens here is you unscrew this and then you can split it take that ring off and you can split this slide it right on the limb see how you got that split in there then you put that cap back on screw this on so it quick detaches you don't have to take your arrows out of it like on this one you have to pull all your arrows out to be able to take this off the limb so that's kind of a nice feature that's why they came out with that they also have it in a strap-on model too right here which is very similar to like the great northern quiver and stuff and it's going to fit right on your limbs and this is going to strap right around it again i will show you each of these mounted on that bow but that's what you're getting with this quiver we are talking high high quality incredible stuff 
and and like I said the history behind what it took to make this the reason why he made it and what he's doing with it and the collaboration between these two make this an incredible option now while we're talking about that I did find there is another one out there now made by bear archery that they came out with that is a quiver and they are calling it the Kodiak uh, quiver but it's made by bear. I'm assuming this is probably China made. I'd have to look, but I'll bet it's made in China or something like that. Okay, it is this one here. Kind of just a hard, cheap plastic. Nothing fancy about it. The foam, the foam is the junk foam none of us like. And we always end up changing. I guess you stick it in with some tape that's on the inside of here is how that's going to hold that in to keep it in. But it's just, see, it's just layered foam. You can see the layers in here. It's not even glued together real good, but that's the foam part. And in this thing here, I guess there's a screw in there and I will try putting it on, but you can unscrew this and then this is going to slip onto your limb. And then this goes and clicks. It's like a ratchet system and holds this supposed to hold onto there, but there's still a lot of play in it. So I'm not hundred percent sure on this yet, what this is going to be like, but they do have this as an option. And I definitely do not like their lower gripper, which also connects this way too. But then you got this, you can adjust this one, but this whole thing just, there's no way to tighten that. It just flops around. So I guess there is this option out there too, which is probably a pretty decent quiver. But the shocking part to me was that this was $100 for this thing here, this setup, whatever is gonna happen here like this and however you adjust that. Um, but this was a $100 setup from Bear um, kind of thing and then yet these you can get these anywhere from 115 to 130 dollars depending on options and the quality level of these is just unbelievable i mean this stuff is off the charts and the history behind it so i was kind of shocked that i found something like this or why bear would put that out like i said i'm not knocking it i'm just in it's probably a pretty decent quiver and will probably work good i'm not sure about reliability and durability and how long this weird ratchety I don't even know how this thing's supposed to, I don't, I don't like that, I guess. Um, so there's this different kind of thing out here. This thing here, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure on this whole detail or what's going on there. And I'm not knocking it, but I'm just saying make sure, reason I'm saying is make sure when you're looking for the grayling quiver, you don't end up with this one unless this is the one that you want. But if you're, this is, this is the, this is the bear archery Kodiak quiver from them and it's this weird contraption and kind of different and um, like I said not taking anything away from it you can't adjust that either I don't know why you can't adjust that that's and look at how loose that is see some again look look at here okay look at this right here on the end when I just touch that look at that pops right out of there see that that's popping right out it's not even in there you know in, staying in there on there um, I wonder how the grippers are on this let's see here on these how they are yeah, they're not horrible. They're they're not bad. They're working. That one's really loose. That one sucks. And I guess they're a multi one so that you can hold different size arrows all in one. Uh, where with Subway and stuff you're going to get, you can order different size diameter holes. This one looks like you're trying to kind of combine and make it where you get your bigger shaft holes here. And then your micro ones would go in the bottom of that kind of thing in there like that. But... Um, yeah, like I said, there is, all I'm trying to get at here is there is another version out there that's actually made by Bear, and it's this one, and it's, uh, and it's about the same price as these other ones, but this is nowhere near what we're, we're looking for. So just don't be mistaken. Uh, this, I'm, I'm not sold on this set. Of, I, don't, I don't understand the concept behind this stuff. I don't know what they're thinking here. Um, yeah, I just, I, I'm not going to mess with this too much. I, I can't. I don't know. I'm not sold on this system here or what it does here, but I guess that's supposed to ratchet. You can see the teeth on here and how this works and that's supposed to hold that and then that's gonna clamp your limb in here. Maybe we'll try putting it on. But see, even when it's on, look at how much slack is in there. I'm, I'm you know, maybe that's gonna compress. I, I don't know, we'll see. But there is another version of this. There is this version out here. Don't be mistaken by that. You want the original grayling quiver that's got all of the heritage and the quality and everything you're looking for. You want to get it from Selway or you want it to be this one of these Selway style connections on here so that you're getting the true grayling quiver, which is what you're after. So let me uh, pause this real quick. I'm going to pop this quiver off of this bow 
We're going to take this dude off and put the other ones on this bow so that you can see them uh, in reality and see what they look like. So we'll be right back with you here in just a minute. Okay, and here is the quick disconnect one on that bow. You can see a quick disconnect here, quick disconnect here. And you have the hood on there. Again, I just put one arrow on there because, I, again, I'm not keeping all of these. These are This is a lot of money in quivers. I'm going to send these back here, uh, except for the one we're going to keep for this bow. And uh, But you can see here, beautiful setup. Again, amazing as Selway, Selway connections. Look at the quality of that all the way around, what they do with that. Just incredible. And uh, But here it is right on there. Now, see, the nice thing about this particular one I like, and I like the strap on ones rather than the slide on. This is still really good, but this one you have to not only take all the arrows out, for this, you have to take all the arrows out and take the string off to get this on and off your bow. And that's not a big deal if you're somebody who leaves a quiver on all the time. If you're somebody who's going to remove a quiver, for example, if you need to put it in a bag or in something like that, what's nice about this is you can leave your arrows in there. Now, I just got that arrow resting there, but you just unscrew this and remove this cap. Unscrew this end and remove the cap. Then take the washer off just like this and you can split this and pop this right off this bow and leaving the arrow and hood connected now when I pop that because I don't actually have a head in there see the arrow is going to come right off but you could very easily keep your arrows in this and pull it apart where your arrows would still hold this together and then you just put your uh, you know you just put your piece back on there on the bottom rubber piece on there you go and put this in your washer back on here and let it thread on just like that, and that is that strap-on or that uh, quick deconnect, quick detach model they call it there, uh, right there. And this is in a one, two, three, four arrow version. Here is a five arrow gripper, so you can see the difference. Okay, here you got four. Here you got one, two, three, four, five. And actually, if you look at them, they're almost the same length. See, oh, sorry. If you look at them they're about the same length okay but you have a five arrow and a four arrow so you're not really fanning out too much more for a five arrow than you are a four so it's kind of nice to give you that uh you know that functionality but here you can see you're basically running four in a line one two three four they're almost straight in a line for the five you got one here one high one low one here that you know so you get that little staggered effect which is nice so you get feather clearance this is that screw on model that we had on that bow just for reference Okay, that will mount on your inserts that come on many bows. Okay, or you can even have these put into bows. Many play shops will put those in for you. But those classic simple inserts are where you're going to connect those two. And those are also quick disconnect where you can leave all your arrows in it. Just give this a couple of turns. Same on the bottom one. And the whole quiver with the arrows comes off as one whole unit like that nice and simple. Now the other option here too is your strap-on model. So you are going to take your strap-on one. Again, I don't want, I want my quivers in the fade outs, okay? So I'm not interfering with the working limb. But this just splits the, the limb, slides in just like this, till it rests in there. You can see how it's rested in there. And then you take your strap, real simple, just like all the other, you know, strap-on type quivers. And then you'll fit this on, get it to snap in there. It's never been put on before, there we go. And now that is strapped on that bow. Okay, and then you do the same thing with the bottom one. This one will strap on, and once you're done, you'll cut these straps to length so that they're not going to bother you. Or you could just continue going around again and come in and then hit it one more time here on that same button. I'm not going to poke a hole through that. It's it's there, but it's still on the back side again. Like I said, they're going to, you know, these quivers are, I'm not going to, I'm sending these back. So we're not going to poke that hole, but you see how you could stretch this and go right around one more and lock right on there. And you could do the same exact thing with the bottom one. Put this right on here. We'll pop this off of here because that's already got one hole in it. And this would then just go right on here like this. So, and mount right there. Actually, I'm upside down, but you get the point. We can put that on there and set that. I could spin that around, but this is going to go on here this way and would mount right on that quiver too. Again, it's upside down, but you can see what's happening here and how that would strap on. Uh, this would spin all the way around like this. See, I spin it. You got total adjustability with these quivers to be able to, to change the angle. See, now it's correct. So if I put this on here this way, 
No, I'm on the backside. I'm wrong. I'm left-handed. got to give me credit. I'm left-handed working with a right-handed bow here. So it was actually the right way. Would go on this way. Was spinning around. But see how I can adjust any angle that I want on this and stop at any place I want to. That's a beautiful thing. All cell ways are like that. But that would be there. This quiver would mount on the other side. I'm just a fool and like I said I'm a left-handed person in a right-handed world right now but that's how that would be on there and then you would strap that on but see how that head is face twisted that way with the limb I can grab that head and twist that very it's got a bolt right here on the back and it's got good tension and I can line that up so it's straight up and down see how this one's going with the limb I can spin that and get that perfect alignment for those arrows right there like that so that's just a beautiful feature Selway quivers and then like I said, you're just going to strap this right on. So to remove it, you just pop the strap, pop the bottom strap, your arrows will keep these two pieces together and they come right off. So that's it, that's that, uh, that system. Now for the heck of it, let's take a look at this, uh, this, this bear thing, so I'm curious. Let's see what happens here. So I guess this goes on there, this is there's a screw inside of there that you can tighten and lock that in. It's going to kind of hold that. I don't have it tight yet because I don't know where it would go. But if we put this on, this is going to fit on here like this. Then this is going to go on to here. Okay. And that's going to clamp on there. That's how that's going to work. That's this one. And then this, once I tighten that, would just pick a spot and sit there. It's got a couple little, little. you can see a little bit of a, you know, like flats on there that's going to kind of keep that from moving, I guess, uh, when you tighten the bolt up that's in there. But that is basically how that quiver is. And uh, and then you would, so you got this big chunky, like I said, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that system and how that quiver is, not even a little bit. And then your bottom part, this, if we can get this one apart, like I said, this is kind of weird. How, uh, and again, I'm not knocking this quiver, not at all. It may be a great quiver, but uh, for me and my money, and if I'm putting it on a bare bow, it's definitely the Grayling quiver I'm putting on there. So let's see here. So we put this on here, which fits right on there. Does not go up into the fade outs as much as I thought it would like the other one does. You know, the other ones get up into the fade outs. This is right on the limb. So we're gonna put that on here. We're going to lock this on again with this thing. Okay, so that's locked on. Still a lot of, even pushed on as hard as I can get it. We've still got an awful lot of wiggling in there, a whole lot of movement on that. But then this, I guess, goes wherever you want it to. You can, you got to loosen this thing up. And then that is going to let you move this to where you want it so you're going to end up like that is how this one is going to work again you can turn that a little bit but uh so that is that's that grayling or that uh, not grayling sorry it's not the grayling this is that one that bear sells that bear archery one that like i said this is an option out there but i don't want you the reason i'm showing this is i don't want you to confuse this weird you know and again probably not bad but this is not the one that that we're talking about here today we are talking about these very high quality top shelf and with the history and the quality behind them and the reason behind them and the way they were made this is it right here this is the grayling quiver with a combination or a collaboration between chris perino and all of his hard work to make this a reality and it's the amazing company selway archery that actually helped him bring it all together and committed to uh, allowing their uh, mounting systems and their setups and everything to be used as part of this collaboration again for the to preserve the heritage of bear archery to preserve what Fred Bear was and what he stood for and to bring this back to all of us. And they did a fantastic job and they gave you amazing mounting options and ways that you can secure these two there as Selway does with all of their quivers. You got endless possibilities. So whatever bow you own, you got an option to make it happen. So that's uh, that's pretty much what I got for you. Um, and like I said, we're gonna get this thing right off of here right now. This 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 thing I'm flying. Um, we want that on here. Um, but uh, now for Tina, like I said, because of the fact that 
my intention was to review these because I had so much interest in them and I, that's what I did. But when she saw this bow, she fell in love with it. Um, she just loved the simple, the, the black with the simple brown and no fancy inlays. And as Steve Ture would say, no furniture or no custom work done. I just a simple, beautiful, functional bow and being 58 inches. Um, so we're gonna see if we can buy this one from Chris. And if we can, we are gonna have this quiver here like I showed you in the beginning, is what Tina is going to have mounted on here. So, uh, beautiful setup. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little education and knowledge out of it. And uh, if you are shooting a bare bow and you want a bare quiver, like I said, the original grayling quiver. Again, I'll show you some of those pictures of Fred Bear with this, you can see. Um, but that this is the whole inspiration behind this. And the quality just doesn't get any better. You cannot under any way or any how get better quality than this. Even on this one, it's mounting on here that we're, we're gonna put on our bow. Look at the thickness and the strength and the quality of all of this. Look at the bolt sizes, the washers. The, I mean, we are talking high, high level of everything that we get here. And that foam, that foam is amazing. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.